It's party time, Mom. It's the summer of Chad. <laughs> right here. It's Monday, and I am glad to be back. I wanted so bad to have been in this studio last week. I did. I'm glad I wasn't, but I wanted to be. Like, if I could have snapped my fingers, because there were things happening in the news that I, like, I'm an... You know, I'm a guy who talks about cultural events that I believe are relevant to our lives. Sometimes they're relevant, but it doesn't matter. Every now and then, stories come across the, uh, the world scene that it's like that pitch was in your wheelhouse. That was the one you could have really hit, and I wasn't here to do it. Mm. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about cocaine in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> That's the freaking story, boys. George Brandon, I wasn't here. Sarah Gonzalez, I wasn't here to talk about, to give my expert analysis on the cocaine in the White House. Well, the, no better uh, host on Blaze TV to give their expert analysis. Well, I'm going to do it you. today. Good. I know you guys have pitched every idea in the world. You've, you've conspiracy theorated. I'm going to shock you with my analysis. Oh. Of the cocaine in the White House. Ah, oh, you've seen me make jokes. I, we've all made jokes about Hunter Biden. He's too easy. Too easy. It wasn't Hunter's. It wasn't Hunter's. It wasn't Hunter's cocaine. Huh. I'm not saying he wasn't tuned up while he was there. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've lived that life. I've seen the videos. I saw him rubbing the sweat from his face mm -hmm. and the and the little you know whether he was taking a bump behind Jill. But you've seen the clip. Now we have that clip, and and I don't want you to play it just yet. Because I'm going to point out something to you that none of you have seen. Oh. None of you have seen. I saw it. I'm not saying he wasn't tuned up. But the baggie wasn't his. That's rookie. Mm. That's rookie. And I tell you what, Hunter Biden's a lot of things. He ain't no rookie mm -hmm. when it comes to his blow. Yeah. He didn't drop that He's bag. He's been doing this a long time. Now, the reason... The Secret Service is in, and the press secretary and all this are mum on this whole deal. They're trying to figure out how to best make this serve their interest. The White House is, the Biden administration. Now, let me, go, let me just say here, because I, I got thrown something, maybe you've heard it, on social media, where they say, you guys in one breath say, you maggots, you say that Joe Biden is a bumbling idiot, and then you say he's a criminal mastermind. No, mm -hmm. no one. No one has said that. I know you can go dig up some liberal rag article that says House Republicans say that Biden is mastermind behind these things. No, no, no. Even they are talking about the administration. Mm -hmm. When we say Biden, we don't mean the bumbling dementia guy that King Charles is having to show him where to go to get to the podium while he's trying to hobnob and chat up the, the royal guard whose job is literally not to speak to anyone <laughs> or change their facial expressions and joe's like uh i'm gonna get i'm gonna get an answer out of him jack <laughs> have you seen that clip oh my god he's trying to chat up the guys who is their freaking job not to respond and then joe's got his arm around king charles like oh, i was just being cool with the guys you know just hanging out seeing if they needed a smoke nobody's accusing joe biden of being a mastermind sarah nobody well not now I mean, I think maybe, you know, uh, several years ago when, when he was with it. <laughs> well, I'm not a criminal a mastermind, mastermind not a criminal mastermind, but no. I think he had enough. Uh, I don't think you have to be he, a mastermind he, to understand he, how to launder money. He knew how to run a criminal organization right. by letting the other guys do it. But right. no, 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 no. Uh, Joe, Joe Cash is every check. He surrounded himself with the right people yeah. who knew how to do it. So now it, I'm, this is Summer of Chad, so I'm, I'm laid out. Can you uh, do, my, what is what is summer of Chad? It's just where it's just all about me right now. <laughs> As opposed to I'm chilling. Well, I'm wearing shorts and you know I'm just kicked back. Got my stinky shoes on. Yeah, it it perplexes me that you even bothered to wear the cowboy hat. Well, because I mean, your yeah. outfit doesn't match it. At all. I have an I have an image. <laughs> right. I have an image, you know, and I got to bring a little Kenny Chesney to the scene. Look how skinny you look. <laughs> I'm a little skinny. I'm skinnier. Yeah. Got at least 40, 50 more pounds to go, people. Shut up. I just like getting a reaction from these people. Oh. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. What in Hunters? No, uh, they're coming out. Now, now they're trying to figure out what to do with this. Now, I, I tell you, here's my, here's my conspiracy. And if it comes true, I, you know what? If it comes true, 
I want when I'm dead, I want you all to cut my head off. I want you to bronze it and put it up around here somewhere because I predict the future. They're going to nail Kamala with this. That's what I was thinking. They're going to nail Kamala with this. This Everybody keeps going, okay, they got to get rid of Joe, but what do we do about Kamala? Now, yeah. I've said they might give her a little head nod and say make her president for six months and then blah, blah, blah. But no, no. No one in America cares if Kamala goes away. No one supports Kamala Harris. Literally, the Democratic Party didn't do it. She was the first out in the primaries. Less than 1% support. She still got the nod based on being a woman and a person of mm -hmm. color to be the vice president. No one respects that word salad, salad tosser. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> you know, the passage <laughs> of time. No, you know, now and, you know, no one cares what happens to her. Mm -hmm. And then they came out. I was saying this last week. I was like, Kamala, Kamala. Then they came out and said they found the cocaine near where the vice president parks her mm -hmm. car. She doesn't drive her car, but where her car is, where her parking place is. It does seem like an odd detail to bring Weird up. Weird thing, because originally they said the cocaine. Now, my first question, right off the bat, being a person who, yeah. as my good friend David Harris Jr. said when he saw Hunter tweaking, he said, bro, I've lived that life. <laughs> I know, and I I know what to recognize. And I'm like, mm-hmm. My first question was, how big was the bag? Mm. How big was the bag? I want to know. I mean, are we literally talking a baggie? Are we talking an Alex Stein kilo? <laughs> are we talking a, or what are we talking about? Are we talking, um, how big was the bag? I wanted to know where it was. They weren't going to tell us that. They said it was in a common area where tourists go. We've now learned that that's bullshit. Yeah, they changed it like four different times. Yeah, and see, people were saying to me on Twitter, oh, the new, I said, you guys are parroting the mainstream media's right. deal. And they're like, well, so are you by saying it wasn't found there. And I was like, no, 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 no. There are actually people who know things mm -hmm. and know like where things are in the White House. People like Dan Bongino mm -hmm. who have come out and said, no, you actually, that, where that spot right there, the only people who go through and get into that area unchecked are like family mm -hmm. or dignitaries, heads of state, cabinet members, or elected officials. They're the only people who get in that area right. unchecked. So there, there are people who have said, no, 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 no. It wasn't in a common area, actually. And I promise you, the, the Secret Service knows everybody that's in the White House at any given time. They know what's in your pockets. They know what's hidden in your shoes. I mean, Elvis got into Nixon with a gun. Like, he, he brought mm -hmm. a gun into, you know... He brought a gun to the White House when he visited Nixon to give Nixon as a gift. They confiscated that, but he had one in his in his boot. <laughs> Pulled it out and showed it to Nixon in the Oval Office. I mean, one Can of the most imagine? Elvis things you could do. <laughs> um, but I mean, you're not smuggling it in your butthole or nothing else. <laughs> and trust me, uh, you could try, but you will fail. So it's somebody's. It's somebody of note. And people say, well, why does it matter? Because it does. Because if it's Hunter's, if it's Hunter's, <laughs> he's got a federal gun charge against him, and he goes away minimum five years. Minimum five mm -hmm. years if he violates that little slap on the wrist he got. So, um, yeah, it matters. Why does it matter? If it's the, yeah, a lot of people have asked. Really? A lot of people are saying that. That's well, we how don't, far we fall. Why does it matter? I mean, there's been blow in the White House before. No, 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 no. There's been blow jobs, and I'm sure there's been blow. <laughs> But I'm just saying that all blow matters, okay? <laughs> all blow matters. And I'm just thinking it wasn't Hunter because he's not a rookie. But I wanted to know where was it found. I wanted to know uh, what the baggie looked like. And you're like, why does that matter? Trust me, <laughs> I would know things. No. I would know things. Oh, I would know. Hey, listen, if you, got a, if you got a little corner of a sack that's tied in a knot, that kind of little, little, your little jungle bump thing like that, no, that, that ain't Hunter. That ain't Hunter. Right. Yeah, it's just not. He, he ain't toting it like that. If you got a little zippy, a little zippy pack, uh -huh. a little deal like that your oregano comes in. <laughs> no, for the record, no oregano comes in that. <laughs> but if you got the little zippy pack, which they literally make those things the purely teeny, for ones? the distribution of cocaine. Okay, the teeny yeah. tiny ones. Okay. If it was a little tube vial... Like with a little screw top on there. Whole new scenario for really? me. Oh, yeah. It's a whole new scenario. 
Oh yeah, we're next level. Somebody's yeah. got a grinder. Yeah, got, they got, screw what, that thing on, on the bottom. Yeah, with the little key bumps in them. Oh yeah, I have so much to learn oh, yeah. about cocaine. Where, where you can, where some of them come with a little top that has a little spoon attached to the bottom of the screw cap. Take it off. You can actually extend the spoon and just dip in there for a little key oh, bump. That's efficient. Oh, it is very. It's very. They don't last for shit. But I'm telling you, it's there. That's why they usually come in like a six or eight pack. But here's the thing. Wow. It would tell me a lot. It would tell me if was it a plastic vial was it a glass vial i want to know these things these are all things i can tell you answers i can pinpoint i don't even need to see security cameras i can nail it down within three or four people <laughs> based on what the cocaine was in i ain't lying i wish i was <laughs> but i want to know what the volume was i want to know what the volume was how much did you find was it a bigger bag were we talking ziploc i mean what did we find it was enough to get a police officer's attention to go mm -hmm. that could be anthrax that could be fentanyl we don't know so we got to evacuate the white house can you imagine when they ran the test and it and it was cocaine they're like ah oh, shit damn it because that was the first that was <laughs> we wanted it to be anthrax damn it that was the first spin they did when i first saw it when it first broke i go okay i see where y'all are going cocaine hydrochlorazide or whatever and i'm like so cocaine right and they're right. like, oh no, it's a little more sufficient. People on Twitter, cocaine. people on Twitter that have never done any f***ing blow <laughs> are suddenly coming at me and telling me, oh no, it was cocaine, hydrochlorothiazide, sodium, <laughs> whatever. Shut up. <laughs> it was blow, street blow from inside the Beltway, right downtown, right downtown, over by the W. <laughs> Look at me. I ain't proud of it. But when I'm a subject matter expert on something, <laughs> don't come at me. I don't tell my proctologist where to find my prostate. You know? I'm, t I'm just saying, man. I would have told you some stuff, but they won't release any of that. Mm -mm. They won't do it. And when asked... And I love it because they were they're doubling down on this thing. The reporters now are like, we really want to know where the cocaine came from. Yep. <laughs> I mean, let's. Rev and so NBC came out with a deal, and they said we're doing. This was NBC. It said we're doing forensics on it, checking for fingerprints, doing analysis on the uh, chemical analysis, all that stuff. And I mean, they're gonna find some baby ambasol, some diesel <laughs> fuel. They're gonna. It's been stepped on by everything, and they're gonna find a little bit. About, 0.08% of it's going to be actual cocaine, but it's going to be like some tooth numbing shit, <laughs> diaper rash cream that they dried out. It's going to be all kind of nasty stuff because from it for it to get from Columbia to Washington, D.C., I promise you it's been through some things. <laughs> but I, I'm interested to see. They said it's going to take about two weeks. No, it don't. Mm -hmm. No, it don't. I can taste it and tell you what we're working with. <laughs> I can rub a little bit right here. I'll tell you exactly what we're working with. One little bump, I'll tell you if it's good or bad. I, I'm just telling you. I, there's so many simple things we could tell you about this. Okay, but aside from you being the expert here. <laughs> subject matter. I'm a SME. I'm a subject matter expert. Subject matter expert, Chad Prather. Aside mm -hmm. from that, which is all very valid and credible, mm -hmm. How about the fact that they keep saying they're not even sure if they have enough like video surveillance Bullshit. to be able to tell? Like, are you kidding? Bullshit. The White House. You're telling me at the White mm -hmm. House you don't have any sort of yeah. surveillance video yeah. that could just show us. You don't need to take two weeks. No. Just roll the tapes. All you got to do is the camera that was on that area. Yes. Who put their hand in their pocket and pulled and it put out. It, and put it out or, into or, the or cubby that you claimed it. that it was. Dropped it, pulled it out, pulled something. You know, I was looking for $20 or whatever. And I just right. pulled my hand out of my pocket and there it was. Oh, I so mean, my keys and my bump went down on the ground, you know. That's just not believable at all that they not would not have videos. And then NBC says, well, it's going to take about two weeks to get this analysis. And I'm like, that's plenty of time to bury the thing. Yeah. But if they want to get Kamala, they won't do this. But this is a fun thing to mm -hmm. throw out there. For those of you saying I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, they could really make Kamala look bad. They could they could take Kamala right on down, and then they get rid of Joe, and then Gavin Newsom's got the clear shot to go in there. I mean, it would make sense. All the giggling and the word salad would make sense. Well, she's on weed. Oh. She she's she's high on weed, no doubt. And that's the only bad thing is her high is not. Oh, I haven't dropped the bombshell yet. Y'all don't go away yet. Don't stop paying attention. Oh, there's more. Oh yeah. 
But wait, there's more. There is more. I'm going I'm to I'm show you something else. So Kamala, that's not her drug of choice. I'm not saying she doesn't, but that's not her drug of choice. She's, she's a weed girl. Now, you got, the, you got the video of the bump, right, of, of Hunter? All right, I want you all to watch, and I'm going to show you what you haven't seen. Play the clip real quick. All right, stop it. Stop it. Or just keep, keep it on repeat right there. All right, I want you to focus not on Hunter. Let it play. Let it play again. Let it play. Just let her go. All right, at the very beginning of that clip, I don't want you to focus on Hunter. I want you to look at Jill. Mm -hmm. She is pissed. No, no. She's on cocaine. No. That right there is what they call the drip, people. What she does right there is what they call the post-nasal drip. She just got cocaine in the back of her throat. No. Look at me. Put the camera on me. <laughs> look, look at the camera on me. I'll bet $10,000 Jill Shut. Biden was doing cocaine that night. Oh, my gosh. You draw that video up and you blow it up and you watch her go and swallow. Yeah. When I saw that video, I saw Hunter, and I was like, of course, he's tweaking. I saw Jill. Oh, my god! I saw Jill. See, I just thought she was mad. But I am not a Smee, so. I saw Jill. <laughs> Jill tasted it in the back of her throat. If you know, you know. All right, guys, the central banks in China. India, Australia, they're transitioning to a digital currency. The Federal Reserve has been contemplating the same for the U.S. With a digital currency, the government could track every single purchase you make. It's coming, folks. Officials could even prohibit you from purchasing certain products or even easily freeze or seize part of all or all of your money. These are some of the reasons concerned Americans reach out to Birch Gold Group. They want to have a physical asset that's independent from the U.S. dollar. Well, gold is, you know, tax sheltered, you know, you can hold it in a retirement account. And what you need to do is figure out if that option of gold is right for you. So what you do is you text CHAD, I spell it Chad, to 989898, and they'll send you a free info kit on gold. They got an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, so you can trust them. They got thousands of happy customers, countless five-star reviews. And Birch Gold's been helping our listeners from the very beginning. Text CHAD to 989898, claim your, claim your free info kit on gold. Because if a central bank digital currency becomes reality, well, you better have some gold to depend on. We'll be right back. I double down with you. Play clip number four, please. Pull that thing up real quick. Y'all take a look at Jean. There has been some irresponsible reporting oh. uh, about the family. Mm. And, uh, and so I got to call that out here. Oh. And I have been very clear. I was clear uh, two days ago when talking about this over and over again as I was being Pompous asked the question. Bitch. As you know, and media outlets reported this, the Biden family was not here. They were not here. They were at Camp David. They were not here Friday. Doing they were not blow. Here Saturday. They were not here Sunday. They were not even here Monday. They came back on Tuesday. So to ask that question is actually incredibly irresponsible. Mm. And and um, I'll just leave it there. Oh, mm. but see, they were they were there for the whole Fourth of July thing. And and here's the thing: the little bag of cocaine, KJP, it don't have legs. It didn't walk in when the Bidens left. Like it could have been sitting there maybe a couple hours before they jumped on the helicopter to go do blow at Camp David. Yeah, because they were there on they, Friday. They there were, were there. coolers that say that they saw Jill, yeah. Baby Bo, and Hunter Biden climb into the presidential SUV. Yeah. And hey, here's the thing. Here's they were the there. Thing. They just forgot their party supplies. They're all on blow. No. They're all, even Joe. No. Next question. How do you think Joe stays so skinny when he eats so much ice cream? <laughs> It ain't from falling off bicycles. <laughs> I, it's blow. They're all on blow. And if Joe ain't on blow now, he has been. Ha, and the whole administration's on blow. KJP's on blow. I would believe that. They're all doing blow. I would believe that. I promise you, give them a piss test. Okay, hold on. Give them a piss test. Hold on. You got about three days. After that, you got to do hair follicle. But you, I, give them a piss test. Do you, is there an age at which, like, you can't do cocaine anymore because your, your body is too feeble? Hell no. <laughs> Better not be. <laughs> Better not be. I'll tell you this. I, I've read, you know, I read Keith Richards. He's 
1700 years old yeah. I, keith richards the, the guitarist for the rolling stones of course his he autobiography this. he said the biggest thing i miss he was 900 when he wrote this he said the biggest thing i miss is pharmaceutical grade cocaine that you could get and up until like what 72 or something like that because the dentists use it they use it all kind of medicinal purposes it was in coca-cola we all know this why it's yeah. called coca-cola anyway he's 79 hey god is man he looks 1700 he does but i you know whether he's still popping off rocks or not i don't know some of that colombian bam bam I cocaine just... but no they're all they've all done it they've all you can't listen i can look i can the fact that joe biden sat there whenever and held up that quarter on the florida senate said this much crack cocaine and then you've seen Hunter counting out his gram after gram on his little video that he yeah. felt like the need to take it and smoking shit while he's driving 170 miles an hour. And then, and then he's going to talk about him and Strom Thurmond. It's amazing to me Joe Biden hung around with so many damn racists. But there it was. <laughs> and so they go sit there and talk about, go lecture everybody on that deal. I guarantee you Joe's done plenty. Done plenty. That's probably why he got dementia. <laughs> 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 he burned up his brain cells, man. Do you think that that is that always how it is? I mean, aside from Trump, because Donald Trump was too straight laced, I think, for anyone. No, to No, but using... Junior. I mean, we all know that Junior's popped off some. You Has know? he? Yeah, that's kind of a known thing. OK, well, but but as far as an administration, George H. George W. Bush did it in his college years, yeah, not admittedly. when he was in the White House. Well, I mean, you know, well, of course, that's what he's going to say. Oh, my God. What are you advocating for here, Chad? Nothing. I'm just saying, listen, listen, <laughs> personally, personally. Now, drug trafficking is a murderous engagement. I, I get that. I mean, part of me thinks that more drugs should probably be legalized. I, I mean, I'm going to get into all that deal. I, that's a deep subject. Mm. But again, you legalize it, suddenly a lot, it takes the teeth out of the cartels and all this kind of stuff. And I'm not saying you should just go out and hodgepodge, just randomly start legalizing all these drugs. I'm not yeah. saying that. But there's different things where you, I mean, they're there, they're, they're not going away. And now we've got a fentanyl issue that's going around where people are literally getting killed from all this kind of stuff. But a lot more, I, I've had this conversation with so many people. I'm like, a lot more people that you want to believe. And see, cocaine has this, there's only two organic drugs. Somebody's going to write a thing and correct me on this thing. But basically, as far as large, largely used drugs, there's only two organic drugs. One's cocaine and the other's marijuana. Now, mm -hmm. the problem with cocaine these days is they've stepped on it, which means they've cut it yeah. in order to make it go further. They put everything stuff. in there from the ambisol that yeah. deadens the teeth of a baby that's teething and all that. They've cut it with all this crap that gives you that numbing effect that cocaine would do. And you think, oh, it's good stuff. No, it's, you ain't, you're snorting all kind of God knows what up your face yeah. and putting it in your brain. I mean, but <laughs> 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 shut up, Sarah. But here's the thing. Y'all, I'm kidding with some of this stuff, all right? <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, mom, don't call me. <laughs> I'm all hopped up. <laughs> no, but the only two organics that, you know, yeah. come from a plant yeah. or cocaine, cocaine and uh, marijuana. marijuana. So people tend to, they, everybody's like, oh, marijuana's fine, marijuana's fine, marijuana's fine. Well, so was cocaine, really, until mm. you started stepping on it and it became a, you know, Pablo Escobar and people getting murdered over it and stuff like that. And then they're cutting it, breaking down, tossing it off of airplanes, making Tom Cruise movies about it. You know? I mean, there's an argument on both sides of the whole thing, but it's now so, it's been so screwed up, you're sucking poison up your face. Yeah. God bless us. I would just uh, say, don't do drugs, kids. Just don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. In no way, shape, or form am I advocating for the use of drugs. I'm not doing that. Catch the humor. I am a comedian. But, but, that administration... They're on drugs. Now, I don't know what all drugs they're on, but they're on drugs. Well, they make me want to be on drugs. <laughs> they're on drugs. <laughs> and uh, you saw, you saw the uh, so Secret Service. Now they're, now they're investigating the Secret Service. See, now, now they're, now they're going to start pushing it on the Secret Service and say it's their fault. Oh, that's a smart thing to do. The people who are supposed <laughs> to protect you, you. Yeah, yeah, you're going to yeah. throw them under the bus. So that's the whole thing. They say, well, it's unacceptable and a shameful moment. That's what they're saying. And uh, but now they're going to start saying, oh, well, it was the, 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 the Secret Service was the who epic amounts the ball. of gaslighting that KJP has to say it's irresponsible reporting. Yeah. 
Shame on you for reporting on cocaine at the White House. Yeah. And That's, then give the little condescending head nod. Yeah. Unbelievable. So anyway, we know that Joe Biden, I had somebody today on a tweet underneath mine that commented and talked about how he's such a jackass. Somebody's like, please give one example of how Joe Biden's a jackass. Uh. <laughs> what? One? One? How much time do you have? <laughs> he doesn't acknowledge his granddaughter. Yeah. And they gave her paintings? <laughs> Hunter Biden paintings? That was the... <laughs> Where, where, where's mom and baby going to pawn off that shit? Like, who's going to... What? I also don't know why she agreed to that. I think Glenn Beck this morning offered her 10 grand for him so he could put it in the museum over here. Just one. <laughs> like... Poor woman. But, I mean, Joe Biden. And now the New York Times has come out... I mean, they wrote a scathing op-ed about Biden's treatment of this unacknowledged, uh, you know, the president's cold shoulder and heart is counter to every message he has sent for decades. But Joe Biden's not a good person. No. Axios just came out with this article talking about what an asshole he is to everybody that works for him. All of the aides, everybody on the staff. Axios came out with this thing that said <clears throat> how, how his quick trigger temper. Now, I went and read the comments under Axios's post of this thing. They talk about how hot his temper is. Mm -hmm. And he blows up at everybody. Like Jen Psaki said to him, when she first started as the press secretary, said, when you yell at me, I'll know that you're respecting our relationship. The first time you yell at me, I'll know that you're starting to respect me as having a relationship with you. And they said it didn't take long for that to happen because he FUs and GDs them and get the F out and how do you not effing know this? And all these people are coming out. And so under the comments on Twitter, everybody's like, screw you, Axios, you're against Joe Biden. No, no, they actually wrote the article in defense of Joe Biden. They're trying to say that he's not some senile, docile, oh. ice cream eating old man, but he's a tough cookie. Mm. He's hardcore. And if you can't keep up with all of his policy decisions and his actions in the boardroom, and if you're not, he'll grill you to death. They literally say that in the Axios thing. Like, people get grilled. He'll, he'll keep investigating you until you don't know the answer. Mm. Because he's so sharp. He's so sharp. <laughs> sharp he couldn't tax. find the podium standing around British guard that were literally <laughs> creating a human maze that direct, like, dirty Q-tip hat wearing <laughs> British guard redcoats had a human maze directing him to the cheese, man. And he couldn't find the podium. King Charles had to take him by the arm. And he's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> With his fat finger, can't even get his signet ring on his fat ass pinky. Brother's a pedophile. That is true. And so Joe, but Joe's sharp. That's what Axios wants you to hear. Joe, Joe's tsha. That is unbelievable. Sharp I mean, as a tech. That's I mean, literally what they're trying to do. I mean, or uh, if you read about people who have dementia, they oftentimes do have bad tempers for no reason yeah. and will yell and get angry and be completely irrational because that's what people with dementia do. Yeah. No one is safe, said one administration official. And then it said, let's zoom out. Biden's temper comes in the form of angry interrogations rather than erratic tantrums. He'll grill aides on topics until it's clear they don't know the answer to a question. A routine that some see as meticulous and others call slump the chump, stump the chump or stump the dummy. Being yelled at by the president has become an internal initiation ceremony oh, in this wow. White House, aides say. If Biden doesn't yell at you, he could be a sign he doesn't respect you. And that definitely would be written about Donald Trump <laughs> when he was in office, right? His angry outbursts, Brandon, his angry outbursts. He, to he told the media that they were fake and they lost their minds and cried about it. Yeah. And now all of a sudden... You're going to get a glowing review for verbally abusing your uh, administration. <laughs> for chewing employees. everybody out. Perfect. Chewing everybody out. So that's the whole deal. Behind closed doors, Biden has such a quick trigger temper that they some some avoid meeting with him alone. They take in a colleague almost as a shield that's against a solo blast. Healthy. His G did. How the F don't you know this? Don't F and bullshit me and get the F out of here. According to current and former Biden aides, I'd punch that old mother <laughs> right in his mouth. <laughs> I'd hit him so hard the blow would come out of his sinuses. Cuss me, you old piece of shit. I'm in the mood for it, Joey. Come on, Scranton Joe. I'll make you eat your lunch pail, you piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was Polish. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Just cave in a side of his cranium.
rip his mask <laughs> off, pull Rapid. the late. I'll pull the latex. <laughs> He's a piece of chicken with ears, man. His skin just. <laughs> 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 What I'd do by Joe. Pick him up by his assless pants and just throw him right out. Cuss me, you old man. I'm pissing your pudding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, Joe! Ah. <laughs> 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 Going on. That was me spitting blood after taking a punch from Joe. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. You know how you know how you know how Rocky would do it. You know where he's just like the blood's in the mouth and Apollo Creed, like <laughs> you know what I mean. I think you just hit me. That's why you don't sit ringside, Sarah. <laughs> I didn't realize I was in the splash zone, Chad. You know what? <laughs> Might get a mouthpiece next. <laughs> Hey, of all the packages that get dropped off at my door, hands down, the best box I open every month is my box of awesome from Bespoke Post. Yep. My box of awesome is filled with carefully chosen gear from the best small brands around the world. And uh, I love the stuff. Listen, I actually have one that comes to my home, and I have one that comes here. That's how much I love them. Uh, so they got camping gear. They got cookout must-haves. They got the, you know, upgrades on your barware. Box of Awesome has collections for every part of your life. And so what you have to do to get started is you take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right Box of Awesome for you. And they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. Each one of them is valued at like 70 bucks, but you only pay a fraction of that price. Plus with each Box of Awesome, you're supporting small businesses. 90% of everything that comes in your Box of Awesome is from a small up-and-coming brand. It's free to sign up and you can skip anytime you want. You can cancel anytime you need to get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com enter the code watch chad at checkout that's boxofawesome.com boxofawesome code watch chad 20% off your first box go there today we'll be right back all right so um friday you're headed out of town I am. You're going to Iowa. I'm going to Iowa. You're going to Iowa. So Blaze Media is teaming up with Family Leader to host the first presidential forum of the 2024 primaries. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure at all. Just a and lot of And it's going to be moderated and hosted by Tucker Carlson. Mm -hmm. Again, no pressure, Sarah. No, no pressure, Sarah. <laughs> uh, so you're going to be there. Glenn's going to be there. After they do that, that's actually the first public event that Tucker's done since. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fox News. Mm -hmm. And so when Tucker's done with the forum, then Glenn Beck's going to join Tucker on stage. They're going to do an exclusive interview just for our Blaze TV subscribers. So if you want to see it, you got to subscribe to Blaze TV. You can head over to Blaze Media Summit dot com. Use the code summit word code word summit for thirty dollars off. Um, and so the presidential summit's free to watch. Mm -hmm. But Blaze TV subscribers will get to tune in for Glenn's exclusive interview with Tucker. So blazemediasummit.com, use code word SUMMIT to join Blaze. And, I mean, you could use promo code CHAD if you want because you love me. Since I just promoted that for free. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. But you're going. Are you excited? I am. I'm excited. I'm also nervous. I was just uh, saying off air, I don't, you know, my husband will be there too because he's the senior director here. Um, but I don't, we're going separately and I don't, I don't travel on planes well, especially alone. <laughs> I don't. Well, I'm going to Cabo. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to travel just fine. Yeah. It's funny because, you know, we never go out of town. And I'm like, of all the times we were going out of town, we're going to Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> you really ought to give Iowa a try, provided you are contrary. The last time I was in Iowa was for the caucus, uh, what, 2016? Like caucus. And um, in February, and I got snowed in. There was a giant blizzard. Yeah. I've had some Iowa weather myself. Yeah. It gets cold up oh, there. Oh, yeah. You say hi to Vivek Ramaswamy for me. I will. You tell him that I'm, I'm available for hire on the campaign. <laughs> okay. Really? I like, I like Vivek. 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 I think it's Vivek. It's Vivek. <laughs> <laughs> it's Vivek. Anyway. Well, I'm going to go there and you know, try to uh, convince Tucker to come over to Blaze, maybe. Do it. You know what you got to do. <laughs> what? You got to say please. The, <laughs> well, uh, I thought that's where you were going. Here's what, 
Here's a segment I want to. Uh, Sarah's never been here for this segment that we do. It's called The Gayest Shit You've Ever Seen. <laughs> Wait for it. Yeah. Oh. Rainbow shit all over the place. <laughs> so the Netherlands, Miss Netherlands, uh, for which will now who will now compete in the Miss USA, Miss Universe. I'm sorry, I bet Miss Universe. <laughs> I screwed that all up. <laughs> is a dude. I'm so far ahead of myself in my head right now. It's but it's a guy. It's a biological male. It's Mr. Netherlands. The Mr. Netherlands. Okay. The the runner up is a fox. Who is this? Was a fox. Is that it? So there you see him. That looks like Bill Hader in drag <laughs> right oh, there. Oh, no, it that does. Looks like, it looks like Bill Hader in drag. Oh, I can't unsee Saturday that. Saturday Night Live's Bill Hader. It does. The crooked teeth. I mean, this, look at the head on that wow. house cat. I'm telling you th- that this is why they got rid of swimsuit competitions, because somebody might have a dick. <laughs> This is why you gotta have. I wanna know what his talent was taking bottle caps off of beer bottles with his teeth. <laughs> like, what, what was it doing the helicopter? <laughs> like, I'm gonna swing my junk around. Look at these nuts. Wait, so that other one was the runner up? The one next the dark, to the dark hair? Yeah, the dark hair. Oh, the fox. She's so gorgeous. So pretty. I, can't believe I she mean, was I'm cheated. sure it's all the angles with these ladies, but whatever. No. They couldn't find an angle for that guy. <laughs> All right. So the the one you keep slapping up there is that the dude in a swimsuit? Yeah. So we, we've we talked about this guy I think before. Maybe I don't know, but it's conveniently a, cropped. Uh, it's it's that the where that picture's cropped is very like you can't see if the circumcision <laughs> exists or not. Um, the, that's the weirdest labia I've ever put my finger in. <laughs> that's what his OBGYN said. That's the weirdest labia's ever. And somebody said to me, uh, how does this affect your life? Um, I get a lot of entertainment value out of it, for one thing. But the fact that it, the fact that it uh, you know, displaces women, I, I tell you who it affects is the first runner-up who could have you know, had a you know, run from his universe. Yeah, and I mean, you're allowed to have an opinion about that. You're, allow- I, I, you're I, allowed I, to find it disgusting that, that this woman has probably done an insane amount of work to prep herself yeah. for this competition only to get beat by a biological One man. of these Twitter re-re actual influencers in Texas said, Chad, I fail to see how this affects your life. I responded by saying, you could have stopped after the word fail. <laughs> yes, you fail. Um, <laughs> and it, by that standard, which is, are, is that, or what are we debating? Because literally everything you right. post on twitter about any cultural yep. event going on i could use that argument say how does this affect your life yep. well when i'm drinking tequila tonight at the cantina and eating my fajita without tortilla mm-hmm. it won't affect my life right but i'll still, still get a have chuckle on it when i'm sitting here at 6 p.m central watching the live chat talking about this i'll say that shit was funny <laughs> so it was great I don't think but it's, it's funny. a travesty. It's disgusting. It's gross. Have you seen the video of the dude that keeps going in the women's bathrooms with a heart on? Yep. Sadly, I can't. He unsee keeps that. showing up with the same heart on. Yep. In his dress. Androgonophilia. Philia. It's androgonophilia. And then, then you got the CDC coming out talking about chest feeding. The whole chest feeding thing. It's so. so and then and we'll talk about it more in, in the next segment. You got to go, but we, they got well, the, now they, I want to stay. Got, okay, well, then let's, let's wait. They got the menstruation pads for dudes. But now they're, now they're saying, and, and then you got the creeps out there saying, oh, no, no, I can take these drugs and I can. Yeah. Oh. No, that's, that's pedophilia. Uh. You like to dress like a woman so a child can suck on your tit. Oh. That's what you're doing, man. You're getting your rocks off. And now the CDC is supporting your pedophilia. So, um, oh, you see that? You see the creepy son of a bitch that's talking about? Oh, I can take this medicine. The medicine may kill me, so I'm only going to take it for three weeks, just enough to get some pumps out. And then has a GoFundMe because I can only afford one pump. I need two pumps. I got a jiggy, 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 jiggy off of both of them. So started a GoFundMe to raise more money for a f-ing breast pump. They're not that much money. <laughs> no, but you know what? When you spend all your money on tits. Yeah. And cross sex hormones and. He didn't even have tits. Chopping your dick off. Laser treatments or something. I don't know. 
Uh, there was so much I wanted to say about all of those subjects, and I just got pissed off and rushed into all of them. Well, that's how it goes. <laughs> hey, guys, if you're cleaning your guns, uh, it is a dirty job. The patches are messy. The rope cleaning elements can be inefficient. But I found a better solution. It's in my little baggie. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't lose my baggies. Barrel Buddy. Barrel Buddy compresses to fill the interior of your gun's barrel, making sure to clean the rifling grooves. Seven different sizes matches any caliber firearm you own. Barrel Buddy is composed of polymers that don't leave behind residual particles, so safer as well. It's an amazing concept. It cleans by scrubbing and collecting particulates, then it absorbs any remaining residue and buffs the interior surface clean, and you can even lubricate your firearm while you're cleaning. It's an important step in being a responsible gun owner. Clean your guns, but use Barrel Buddy. It's a new concept. It's a better concept and a great way to take care of your firearms, so get some today. You're going to love them. I use them. BarrelBuddy.com. That's BarrelBuddy.com. We'll be right back. So uh, the CEO of August Tampon Brand is slammed for calling customers menstruators instead of women. Now, again, this company comes out with a whole deal that says we're going to take care of everybody, including trans women, which are actually men. And their menstruation needs. No trans men. No trans women. Oh. People would still have a penis and balls. They said, we're going to take care of everybody with no judgment, all this kind of stuff. And so they just said, so the whole thing was, and I don't know if this was the same company, but this happened just this past week yeah. where they came out with the pads. Now, I was prophetic enough when I came out with Chad pads. <laughs> with the. Which should be. With the auto dilator, oh, which God. I still have right here. Yep, there it is. There it is. Oh, gosh. That's... Can you hear that, George? Does that sound oh, good? Oh, gosh. Does that sound good? Does no. that make your non-existent nope. labia swell? Nope. No? <laughs> but I was prophetic with the Chad pads. But anyway, they uh, they start calling them menstruators, which, I mean, you all accuse us of this whole Handmaid's Tale over the Roe v. Wade stuff. That's Handmaid's Tale mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. there. To call a woman a menstruator? Mm -hmm. How degrading is that? Menstruate from our bonus hole. That was another thing. And I made a social media video on that, your bonus hole. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, did you hear about that Dr. <laughs> Nasser guy, the guy that was the yes. gymnastics uh, physician who got busted for the molestation and yes. the sexual and all that stuff? They stabbed him in the chest and the back uh, over the weekend or yeah. this past week. He's in stable condition. Oh, so I, I give the guys an 8.6 and I hope next time they stick the landing. All right. <laughs> Give him some bonus holes. That's where I was going with that joke. Uh, but they came out and they said, we're going to start calling it a bonus hole. Now, historically speaking, guys that are a little bit perverted like me, we have another thing in mind when we talk about the bonus hole. Yeah, this is the regular hole. Yeah, we're like, that, no, that's, that, is the, that is the glorioso. That is the, that is the tunnel vision. That is where we've been trying to get. That is literally third base. That is where we... <laughs> We've been trying to score there for a long time. I mean, we've been looking for the light at the end of that cave forever. <laughs> there is ex exploration in that hole that we'll never uncover. I'm telling you, there are, there are things deeper than the Titanic down there. I mean, there are artifacts that need to be, treasures that need How to be brought up going? and opened up. I'm just telling you, that's what's in a woman's vagina for us. <laughs> but would you call it a bonus hole? Ding, 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 ding. We're like, what? There's a bonus hole? Oh, no. It's still that same unexplored cavern. We've been trying to figure out that mystery since Adam took a rib. God took a rib out of Adam. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, bonus hole? Bonus hole? I'm still confused as to why a man would need a tampon. They don't, Sarah. Like, if you're bleeding, you should go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, therein lies the humor. Mm. They don't need it. I Is mean, it I've, funny? I got one hole I put my finger in and found a button up there, and now I wish I could. There's a reason God put a man's prostate four inches up his asshole, because if it was on the palm of our hand, we'd be walking down there like we're typing a text message. <laughs> That's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you get on Blaze TV. Well, specifically the Chad Prather Show. <laughs> normal world <laughs> <laughs> this is where real comedy is okay. kayla that couldn't have happened at a better time i, I love it the normal world director literally just walked in <laughs> as he was saying that. normal world 
You can delete that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Just the F part. Ah, I see you, Kayla. Come in here stealing my jokes. Is that what y'all are doing? Bag of coca. It's in my pocket. All right, <laughs> folks. Here's a segue. Everybody deals with pain from time to time. It's one of the few guarantees we have in life, along with death and taxes. And when it happens, we sustain it. We deal with it. We move forward. But sometimes there is no moving forward because it just doesn't go away. It's day after day until it just fills your world, steals your joy, and just takes the life out of life. So here's what I want you to do if you're experiencing this pain. I want you to give Relief Factor a try. It's a great way to reduce pain. It's usually caused by inflammation in your joints. When you take it as directed, you could absolutely change your life. It's not a drug. It's something developed by doctors, though, and it reduces inflammation in your body. 70% of the people who take it, they keep on ordering it because guess what? It works. So if you're living with pain, try the three-week quick start. It's only $19.95. It's a trial pack. Go to relieffactor.com or give them a call. 800, the number for relief. Go to relieffactor.com and we'll be right back. So Bud Light has fallen out of the top 10 of beers in America. We'll see where that goes. I think we know where that's going to go. Uh, have you seen that uh, the Sphere thing in Vegas? I've watched them build this thing for years now. It's creepy. Play, play that little clip. Here's, here's the devil right here. It's crazy. This thing is wild, man. Uh, I mean, the light show they could do with this whole deal is just freaky, this whole thing. I mean, that, that deal, I've seen them do... I go 4th of July, they were doing a lot of patriotic stuff. I've seen like an eyeball opening. I mean, it, and if you see it in real life, video doesn't do it justice. Oh, I would. I, there's going to be hundreds of people that freak out because they don't know what they're looking at. Yeah, yeah. Had a few too many in Vegas. There's going to be people paranoid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh the, the animation on that thing is next level, dude. It's insane. But it's the devil. Trust me. <laughs> it's the devil, dude. I mean, that really looks like a portal to hell. Yeah, I mean it's it's crazy the stuff they can yeah. do with that deal. All right, what's going on? Well, I'm only, I'm going on vacation next week. You got you got six more days to go over to 76forever.com if you're going to participate in this particular giveaway uh, that we're doing. 76forever.com, go over there. You don't have to buy anything to enter. You just do it. But I hope you do buy something because I like the money. Um, but uh, support us and uh, watch Chad.com. You can see some shows coming up later on. I don't even have another show until I think the 30th of this month, 29th or 30th. I'll be in Coleman, Texas. Then I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going up to Pennsylvania, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh. So there's a lot of stuff coming up, but I'm happy to have a little bit of a break. Thank you for giving me a little, little time off last week. I honestly got to miss you guys. Missed you guys too. And, but I'm glad to be back because – Again, you could tell from today's wild craziness, I've had some things to get off my chest, uh, and it's going to be an exciting week, guaranteed. But uh, lots of stuff going on, man, and I'm telling you, y'all go to where podcasts are offered, specifically go to Apple Podcasts, leave a rating, leave a review, tell us what you think, give me your opinion on the little baggie. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. All right? Don't forget, subscribe to Blaze, blazetv.com slash Chad. Use promo code Chad. We'll see you tomorrow. We love you. God bless you. Bye.